everyone. Today we're going to convert this uh, Atlas Classics uh, U25B to DCC using the uh, Excel Systems uh, replacement board. So that is fairly straightforward. There's pretty good instructions with it. Uh, all the CVs here that you can change if you want. The company's info. There's the email right there. And the company's address is here on the envelope. So if you're ever interested in getting one, you can contact them. Excel Systems at DCC.com on Google will get you to their website. It's pretty easy to order stuff from them. Okay, here we go. This is what I like. The CV117 allows you to have uh, the, the headlight dimmed, which uh, is kind of cool. So that's a little bit of extra fun that you can have with this. And let's open this up. This guy, this little guy here, that is a custom paint job that someone else did. And I have nothing bad to say about this paint job. I like it. This works 100% for me. So I'm going to remove the shell uh, using the box method. I'll spare you from the noise. Also, I wanted to mention when I order my sound decoders, I'm already paying for my sound decoders and the shipping for my sound decoders. Uh, this no sound decoder, it's $15. So $15 free shipping, you can't beat that. That's a really good uh, value for your money. Anyways, I think so. So just like that, and it's out. I'm still trying to be careful uh, while I do that. So this is a direct replacement, should bolt right in. Easy as pie. Looking at my trucks there to make sure they're in the proper direction. I'm gonna want to keep track of that. So I need to remove uh, these two screws uh, completely. And then I take care of the orders where these go. Once the two screws are out. The frame, the frame should split up, making it easy to get to the, uh, the circuit board. Now, on the instructions, oh, this has kept on tape on it already. On the instructions, it doesn't say anything about kept on tape, but I guess this was a DCC unit once. So I'm gonna add just a little bit of kept on tape on the side there. Here's the deal with the Kepton tape. If this contact strip uh, touches your frame and you're running DC, it's not a problem. But if you're running DCC, it has to be insulated. So you just put a little piece over the frame and these go back together like this. And don't forget to put your, uh, your DCC board so this old board, I'm keeping it, putting in my spare parts bin. You never know, it could be useful. So then, as I put my decoder in, I need to make sure that my two uh, contacts for the motor hit um, these two pins precisely. I can see that this one pin is out of uh, out of alignment a little bit. So I'm just gonna straighten this out because I do need it to hit precisely. That is right on the money. So that's good. So as I put it in, I keep checking to be sure. That looks good. 
then I'll bring the uh, the other half of the frame in I ran into a little bit of a snag here these two I don't know what they are transistors are interfering with the frame here so I'm gonna have to maybe uh, bring my Dremel in and make a little room for that box I tried to make the indentation as small as I could uh, this is an area of the frame that's pretty weak uh, to begin with so I didn't want to take too much material out also don't forget to wash everything down before uh, putting everything back together you don't want any of the shrapnel to get in your motor or your gears now I'm ready to put everything back together and then as you put your uh, your motor back down remember these two little cradles here that has to be a hundred percent in its correct space there's little slots for it uh, in the frame so as you put it back together be mindful of that if it's not uh, done right uh, your uh, there might be some interference between the uh, the flywheels are are the, the worm gears won't line up properly so take some time to do that I don't have to lubricate this because uh, it was uh, done before they they are good runners those U25Bs even uh, the old style the non-DCC style they're still really good runners So this unit, I'll be using this unit with uh, my 2907, which is a DCC and sound unit. So this one will have no sound, but the other engine will. And don't forget these little insulators. They, they look very simple but 100% you need them then I'll bring the other half of the frame oh wait a second I need to put my uh, my decoder in that would be a good idea so make sure as you put it in that the two the two pins for your uh, motor contact it there that looks real good then I'll bring the second half of the frame and then I'll just start uh, my two screws I won't tighten them just yet I'll just get them started Then I'll bring in the uh, the two contact strips. These go uh, over and under. Same with this one. And then I'll bring in the fuel tank because the fuel tank will all hold them there. There is a direction that the fuel tank goes to. Yeah, here we go. That looks way, way better. I 
then double check the alignment for your contact strips. Then you can bring in the two trucks. Just the way they were. That should still give you enough, uh, enough slack that you can slide them in. Yeah, that can't be right. This little pin that goes on the inside towards the fuel tank. So let's just flip that around. And then make sure everything's lined up properly. And then we'll tighten up the two, uh, the two screws. Don't have to be super tight, just hand tight. Now there's no way to test this on the bench. So I'm gonna bring this on the layout and we'll test it out. Okay, so let's do the initial program it of it. Program on the program track, enter. And then standard. Manufacturer 143, decoder, decoder version 1, set up address, short address, yes, 003, sounds good to me, and then long address is uh, 2531. Then enter, activate this address, yes. Configuration will skip for now. We'll skip that too, escape. Then give it some throttle. Just work on that for a bit it ended up being something uh, mechanical part of maybe the flywheel or one of the worm gears wasn't aligned properly anyways now it works great and quiet too so that's really neat Now that I'm happy with the way it runs, I can put my shell uh, back on. So I'll be running this with my other unit, which does have sound. So even though uh, 2531 doesn't have sound, my whole uh, train consist will have sound. This should go back, shouldn't be too, too hard, though uh, I am being careful. There are little pins that have to be lifted over, but uh, after that, it just went on by itself. So that's on now. And now it's time to run some trains. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly had fun making it for you.
See you soon.